When the accelerating voltage in a cathode ray tube is 500 volts and the deflecting voltage is 25 volts, the electron beam on the screen is deflected by 1.4 centimeters. What is the deflection if the accelerating voltage is changed to 700 volts and the deflecting voltage to 45 volts? So our biggest asset when we're trying to solve these uh, deflection cathode ray tube problems is going to be that we know the deflection is proportional to the deflecting voltage over the accelerating voltage. Um, so this initial deflection um, of 1.4 centimeters is proportional to this deflecting voltage over this accelerating voltage. So to figure out our second uh, deflection, we need to determine expressions for the second deflecting and accelerating voltages in terms of the first deflecting and accelerating voltages. Um, so basically we need to figure out by what factor the deflecting and accelerating voltages have changed. So let's start by looking at the deflecting voltages. So the second deflecting voltage over the first deflecting voltage is going to be 45 volts over 25 volts. And if we reduce the numerator and denominator by a factor of 5, that leaves us with 9 fifths. So basically what this tells us is that the second deflecting voltage is 9 fifths times the first deflecting voltage. Now let's do the same thing for the accelerating voltages. We'll have the second accelerating voltage over the first accelerating voltage is equal to 700 volts over 500 volts, which reduces to 7 fifths. Again, this basically tells us that the second accelerating voltage is 7 fifths of the first accelerating voltage. Um, so we can see that we've actually increased both the deflecting voltage and the accelerating voltage. Um, but since we've increased the deflecting voltage by a greater factor, we're going to expect the second deflection to be greater than the first deflection, uh, since the deflection is proportional to the deflecting voltage and inversely proportional to the accelerating voltage. Um, so we can write a proportionality statement for the second deflection uh, in terms of the first deflection. So the second deflection is going to be proportional to VD2 over VA2. Uh, we know that VD2 is 9 fifths of VD1. And we know that VA2 is 7 fifths of VA1. These fives can cancel uh, and we'll be left with 9 sevenths VD1 over VA1. Uh, and you may recognize VD1 over VA1 as uh, our proportionality statement for the first deflection. So this is 9 sevenths D1. Um, so basically we end up with the secondary deflection being a factor of 9 sevenths greater than the first deflection. So if we take 9 sevenths and multiply by the first deflection, 1.4 centimeters, we end up with our final answer for this problem, 1.8 centimeters.